Can you see that? Look at the shed hair. So I'm just going to grab that now. Oh my gosh, this is a lot. Oh my goodness. Can you see those long strands? Guys, this is scary. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you guys can see it. Really long strands of hair. Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. Now, if you're returning, thank you so much for support. And if it's your first time on this channel, my name is Vanessa. I make natural hair videos, including lots of DIYs to help us grow strong, healthy, and long natural hair. So if this kind of content interests you, be sure to click the subscribe button and join the family. So let's hop into today's video, guys. In today's video, I'm just taking out these braids, okay? <laughs> my braids have been on for I think about maybe three weeks like maybe three weeks and a couple of days I'm gonna show you what they look like right now they look so terrible this is the reason why I can never keep a protective style for longer than three weeks or four weeks at most because it gets extremely frizzy I get lots of new growth and it just doesn't look nice anymore so I just thought it's just about time that I took this off because you know I need to wash my hair and just look after it because my scalp is a little dirty i haven't actually washed my hair since i've had these braids um so yeah i'm just going to show you what it looks like it looks kind of okay now but when i take this off you get to see what it looks like <laughs> it doesn't look very nice at all so this is basically what it looks like okay i don't know if you guys can see um the camera is probably a bit dark but I don't know this camera is really not doing this hair justice like trust me it doesn't look great at the moment and it's definitely time to take it off because yeah so but I do have quite a lot of growth if you guys can see you know if you look at that one for example uh, this one here then yeah so basically i'm going to take this out and then i'm going to detangle my hair and then show you basically how much shedding you know i've had um yeah i guess i've never done a video like this on here just to show you basically you know <laughs> reality after you've removed your protective style i will be using aloe vera to detangle my hair after this after i've taken it out and then we'll basically just see how easy it is to detangle and also how much shedding we've had you know since we've had this protective style but i would say i'm quite happy with my edges because my edges are looking kind of okay it doesn't look like i've lost hair there um which is really good i mean anytime i do any kind of protective style i'm always concerned about my edges because <laughs> seriously like i'm baby my edges so much because they're just so easy to break so but anyways let's hop into it i've got a pair of scissors that i'm going to use just to cut you know um the ends of my extensions and then i'm going to go and undo it now i'm not going to cut too much just because of the fact that i don't want to cut my hair um so i'm going to start basically look at this one <laughs> I already started taking this out right at the back and i tell you when i took this down it was so tangled at the bottom like no jokes so i don't know what it's going to look like when i now do the rest of the hair so let's find out so yeah i'm just going to cut um you know just basically here not not a lot pretty much and then i'm just going to start on doing it from there
Hey guys, so at this point I have completely finished taking my hair out and this is what it looks like. I don't think it looks really bad at all, in all honesty. I have been contemplating, you know, wearing it out like this for maybe a couple of days before, you know, washing it. But hey, for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to go ahead and just detangle my hair using aloe vera. Okay guys, so I'm just going to show you how I make the aloe vera gel. Now to be able to use aloe vera as a detangler, it needs to be in the form of a gel just so you have enough slip um, to make it easier to detangle your hair. Now for this, I'm using fresh aloe vera leaf that you can get from Amazon as well if you don't have it in your area. So I cut it into smaller pieces and I decided to soak it for about 10 to 15 minutes. Now the reason why I did that is just because I didn't want, you know, the aloe vera to itch my skin. So, um, but you don't necessarily need to do this if you don't want to. You can just go ahead and just scoop the aloe vera flesh out straight away. But doing this just makes it, you know, more manageable. So essentially, cut it in the middle after you've taken it out of the water and then use a spoon to scoop the flesh of the aloe vera out. Because that's what we're going to be uh, needing for the gel. Now pop that in a sieve on top of a bowl and you want to just gently massage that with your fingers just to get the gel out of it now doing it this way just means that um you're able to get all the gel out without any pulp now you can actually go ahead and blend this but i'm thinking you probably would end up with a lot of juice which would be more uh, you know in a liquid form than this this is a bit strenuous because it takes a bit longer to um to get the gel but eventually you will get it so let your sieve sit on top of the bowl so that the gel can just you know drain into the bowl and that's pretty much what you end up with now i went ahead and added a bit of olive oil to this just to give it a bit more slip but you don't have to if you don't want to so mix that all together and then you're ready to use it pretty much can you see how sleepy is looking this is going to be great for detangling um so yeah so we're just gonna go ahead now and section our hair into like smaller sections so it's easier to work with okay guys so now i'm just gonna grab my aloe vera gel and then go ahead and just apply this to my hair and detangle so i don't even know how i'm gonna do this <laughs> oh Okay, so let's go. So in this gel, I've added a little bit of olive oil just to, you know, help a bit more with the slip. So that's why the color just looks a bit, you know, different. Okay, so what I'm going to do guys, I'm just going to apply it like this and I'm not going to detangle yet. I will just leave it. Okay. Okay, so... Right, so after I've done this guys, I'm now going to twist this and let it alone for a few minutes while I work on the next section and then I'm going to come back and detangle later. It's just so, it's just so that the aloe vera can actually soften the hair, loosen my curls so that it's easier for me to detangle when I do get to that stage. So I'm just going to put it like this. Oh, my aloe just poured out. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, so we're just going to just twist it like Okay guys, so at this point, I'm completely done applying the aloe vera to my hair. And this is what it looks like okay now i'm gonna undo every single twist that i've made and that's what i'm gonna now go ahead and detangle so it's just easier for me this way can you see how loose my curls are looking already can you see that 
without having to do anything so i'm just gonna go and grab my comb so i'm gonna use a white tooth comb to detangle i suggest that if you are detangling your hair guys you always use a white tooth comb this just makes your job so much easier and also you're less likely to cause any break uh, um, any breakage pretty much so i'm starting here by combing from my ends and then i'll walk my way to my roots so just like this and i'm being extremely gentle so i will not snap my hair or anything this will be interesting um it, it will be interesting because i just want to find out how much shedding i get and also aloe vera is just really good as a detangler just like you can see which is basically the whole purpose of this video just to show you how you can use aloe vera to detangle your hair so yeah so as you can see that it's coming off okay so that's basically the shed hair that's coming off can you see that look at the shed hair so i'm just gonna grab that now oh my gosh this is a lot oh my goodness can you see those long strands guys this is scary look at that oh my goodness i don't know if you guys can see it really long strands of hair wow this is really scary mate like i don't know how much i'm gonna get from doing my entire head because this is quite a lot of hair that's coming off let's pick the shed hair can you see that <gasps> this is really scary oh my gosh oh my gosh look at that look at that this is can you see that guys <gasps> oh my goodness look at this oh my god guys my hair is falling out <laughs> this is no joke oh jeez <sighs> guys the amount of hair that i'm getting out of this hair is something else Look at this one. Look at the shed hair. It's looking very nice and long. Can you see that, guys? Look at that. It's like my, the whole length of my hair is just coming out. I'm going to show you guys how much shedding yeah. we've had from this just these two sections. Look at that. Just from these two sections, look at how much shedding yeah. I've got. This is crazy. This is so much. It is too much. <sighs> wow. Okay, let's keep going okay guys so I've done this side of my head and I need to do this side and I've got the aloe vera sort of licking all over my clothes so <laughs> this is really messy um, but anyways yeah so I've done this side and yeah so I've done this side and this is pretty much oh 
aloe vera in my eye you know and this is pretty much how much hair I got from detangling this side of my head oh my gosh I've got aloe vera in my eye you know <laughs> this is crazy yeah so this is how much I've got from doing this side now I'm going to go ahead and detangle this side off camera and then I'll come back and show you basically how much shedding we had for my whole head okay guys at this point I have completely finished detangling my hair and this is what it looks like nice and soft really nice and detangled uh, really moisturized yeah really really good now I would say detangling with aloe vera is so easy like no jokes so easy and really quick as well because it gives your hair so much slip and because of that reason it just makes it so much easier because your comb just slides through as you're combing which is a great detangler now when you're detangling your hair it's important that you're using something that will give you enough slip just to prevent you know breakage or unnecessary you know tangles or anything like that so aloe vera is just great perfect but i would say that you know doing braids i don't actually know if it's braids or if it's just you know normal but i did do feel like i had a lot more shedding this time that i normally do um so i'm just going to show you how much shed hair i was able to uh, how much shed hair i got from detangling my hair this is pretty much how much shed hair we had guys okay now it may seem like it's not a lot but trust me this is a lot because the hair itself is wet i know when you've got wet hair it doesn't have as much volume so imagine if this was still dry it would be quite a lot of hair now i don't actually know whether it's because i did braids or if it's just normal i really don't know but yeah this is quite a, a good amount yeah so this is quite a good amount of hair to be honest to have a shed hair but hey it is what it is um so yeah this is pretty much it for me today guys i'm now going to go ahead i'm going to go ahead now and put this plastic bag on um just to give my hair a little bit more heat and i will leave the aloe vera in it for a couple more hours and then i'm going to go ahead and shampoo my hair so yeah that's pretty much the plan that's what we're going to do so i'm just going to you know grab this plastic bag you can use a heat cap if you want to or any other you know thing that you've got that you usually use on your hair and i'm just gonna you know just tie my hair with this i'm gonna leave this guys for a couple of hours and then i'm gonna go ahead and shampoo my hair as normal um you can leave, leave this overnight as well if you want to i have a video on this channel showing you guys how i left aloe vera in my hair overnight so you can leave this overnight as well if you want to i'm not gonna go out and shampoo this in a couple of hours but this is pretty much it for me today guys thank you so much for watching if you watch to the end of the video you're a g okay so thank you so much i really really appreciate it and also if you like the video guys don't forget to oh, yeah if you like the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel if you're not already and i'll catch you in my next video which will be very soon so thank you so much for watching i really appreciate you bye